Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, and I'm not usually doing Facebook Lives on Monday, but I'm starting something new this week. I'm going to have a product of the week each week, and on Mondays, I'm going to talk about the product product and um, some of its features and benefits and um, hopefully this video won't get too long. Um, I'm trying to keep this video in particular on the shorter side just to introduce the product and then later on the week I will show more samples and things that you can do with the product. So um, this week's product is going to be uh, the Tea Room Suite. It's um, in the new annual catalog and it's on pages uh, 14 to 15. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around to my work surface so I can better show you things rather than you see my face and me trying to hold them up to my face um, so that you can see things a little better. If you have any questions about the suite, please um, free, feel free to post uh, during the video. Um, you might be watching this as a recording and if you're watching it as a recording you're welcome to ask questions as well and I will um, go back in later and answer them um, so just keep in mind you might be right now I'm live but um, I you might be hearing me say it's live and it's actually a recording um, but uh, um, so anyway I'm going to start I'm gonna turn my camera around and let's talk about the tea room suite I need to switch around. There we go. There's my view. Let me get my camera set up. Okay. So I've got the annual catalog here in front of me. And as I said before, the suite is on pages 14 to 15. There's some samples here on this side. And right here is um, the stamp set. Um, it comes with framelits and it comes with a bunch of other um, things that you can purchase with it that coordinate with the suite. Let's have a look at the stamp set first. Let me pop the framelits aside. It's called Time for Tea. You can buy it separately or you can buy it in the bundle. When you purchase it in the bundle with the framelits, you can save 10%. So that's always a nice thing. So what I've done in the past, you know, I get a set, I make a card. I might not stamp all the stamps in the stamp set. Sometimes there are stamps in there that I've never used before. I have no idea what they do. I They never see the ink at all. And I was like, you know, this is actually not really a good way to utilize my um, stamps. So the first thing I decided to do was I took those stamps, I mounted every single one on a block and I stamped all of them, yay! So all of those stamps have seen ink now. Um, and so I stamped um, all the greetings. So there's four different beautiful greetings that you can use. Um, and then down here at the bottom, of course, there's a teacup. And then there's two elements. This one you can use um, to highlight something, put it underneath, or it can be a nice background element. This is a corner element. And then there are three two-step stamps. So each of these, the flower and the two leaves, um, they have um, a two-step component to that. And so um, when you stamp those, the, the two-step component, let me do this. So these are the stamps that make up the two step. You've got outline images and then you've got um, the fill of those images. And you can stamp them in two different colors of ink if you like. Um, what I like to do, because I like to keep things clean and simple, what I usually do is I take the outline and then I stamp that first and then I take the filler image and I stamp it off once. So I'll stamp, this is at full intensity, but I'll stamp it off and then I'll stamp it into my outline. And so then this is what you come up with over here. On this side, um, you've got the darker outline and then a little bit lighter because it's stamped off once is the fill. And I did the same thing for um, all of the leaves. But like I said before, you can choose to use different colors like this is crushed curry with crushed curry. You could use crushed curry with so saffron. 
and you would have had like a similar um, effect. But it is a two-step stamp, or you can stamp the outline and, and watercolor on the inside. But um, that's how um, I tend to do my, my two-step stamping like that. Um, so then let's talk about the framelits. So the framelits um, are right here, and there's nine of them. Um, the other thing I've, I've never done is I've never stamped all the images and cut all the framelits out just to see what they look like. Because sometimes I, you know, I get busy, I'm just making a card. So I actually stamped all the images and cut all the framelits that could be cut um, with these framelits. So there's nine of them. Uh, there's these two um, round images. They kind of remind me maybe a little bit like a doily. Um, so we've got two sizes of those. They fit the greetings nicely, or you could stamp the images on there too. We've got this image, this um, edge image right here. I try to um, do a line of these like repeating. It didn't work out so well. Um, so I think this image is mainly supposed to be used more as like a shorter edge peeking out um, to highlight something or maybe if you did it on two different um, ends of a piece of cardstock you could have a nice kind of a rectangular piece that you could stamp something on. Um, if you want to maximize the use of this edge, um, I've written out right here it's two and three quarters of an inch. Um, that is the perfect length um, to put this on. So I just cut a piece that, that was that wide and laid my piece um, along the edge. And this is what it cut. So that's kind of cool. So those three images are kind of standalone. They don't cut out a particular image in the stamp set. And then we have um, the teacup that cuts out the full teacup. Um, we've got the flower. Now the interesting thing about the flower is we've got two flower images to cut out. So to make cutting out flowers faster, you can stamp a bunch of them and you can cut out two of them at the same time. And um, the same thing with the leaves, these curved leaves here, we've got two dies to cut out the exact same thing. So that makes it easier when you're creating a, like a lot of these and a lot of these. You can stamp a couple and then you can go in and cut. The only thing to remember if you do that is to leave enough space in between the images because the dies have a bit of a frame around them. If you stamp them too closely together, you'll be back to the problem where you can only cut out one at a time. Um, yeah, so then you've got this leaf um, one and that only cuts out one. So that takes care of all the dies in the set. Is there anything else I wanted to say that about that? Nope, that, that was it. Um, so then we have a coordinating product and this is the Tea Room Specialty Designer Series paper. Now, when I got this paper, I was a little bit surprised. I didn't read the description very well. I'm used to our paper being a certain weight. This paper is a lightweight paper, so it's not as thick as our regular Designer Series paper. But the nice thing about that is you get 24 sheets of it uh, compared to what we normally get is like 12 sheets in a regular pack. Um, it is 12 by 12. This lightweight paper still makes perfect layers for your cards. Um, it's great for making envelopes with and it's also great for envelope liners. Um, I can also see it being used um, better if you're going to do any origami because it is um, about the weight of origami paper. It's not quite as, it's, it's a matte paper, not a glossy paper, but I could see using this for origami if you want to use it for that. Um, the colors in here are Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Crush Curry, Old Olive, Rich Razzleberry, and Berry Vanilla. On one side of this paper, you've got kind of bigger patterns, brighter patterns. And then if you turn them to the back, you, it's a, still double-sided. There's a more neutral pattern. So um, if you don't want the big, bright, bold patterns, there's a lot of nice neutral patterns to be had as well. 
So I really do like the way this coordinates with um, this the bundle. The other thing that I got out of the uh, catalog that matches the suite is the Tea Room Ribbon Combo Pack. It comes with two spools of ribbon. They are five yards each and they are one eighth of an inch thick or wide, I should say. And this one here is Coastal Cabana and Copper. And this one here is very vanilla and copper. And it goes really well with the colors in the paper. So um, some nice, um, the vanilla is neutral, but the blue looks really nice as well with everything in that, that pack. So I did get um, those. Some things that I didn't get. Um, I don't do um, a lot of things with um, the Memories and More card pack, but here it is in the catalog right here. And you might notice that there are some samples over here and you were like, how did they do this butterfly for instance? Um, you can look, there is a butterfly in the paper, but it's not the same butterfly as is on this particular card. So some of these images like this butterfly and this um, greeting down here, life is better with you, are part of the card pack. And that's why you will you won't be able to stamp those. So if you want to make those cards, you will need to get the memories and more card pack. The nice thing is you probably have a butterfly in your collection and you could probably recreate this card using some of your other supplies um, to to bring it all together. Um, so there's that. Um, there are these beautiful copper Tetons. I have not gotten one of those yet but those will make um, nice little gift boxes or you could put tea in them, which is um, kind of a, a neat thing. Um, and then there's the um, Tea Room um, Copper Vinyl Stickers and they've used some of those on the tin right here, you can see. So if you like stickers, I have gotten the stickers before and they are a really good quality sticker. They're not like your typical, you know, flimsy little stickers. These are very nice quality. Um, they do coordinate the, with the suite. Um, if you're looking for just a pack of multi cardstock to go with this suite, we also have a cardstock pack that goes with that. So those are all the pieces of the suite. And I thought to start off the week, you know, it's you you get you get a bundle and you start playing around and I've made samples already, but I'm going to sh share those with you later on in the week. But I was like, you know, just how do I just sit there and create a card? So this morning I just whipped up a little card um, using this card right here as my sample base. Let me show you. I actually um, if you hold them side by side, they are a little bit different. Um, but let me talk about this card a little bit. So I use this, um, the bigger kind of doily image. And then I use the, um, that leaf, that um, bowed leaf design. And I stamped it in Old Olive and I cut it out. And it was really nice because I could stamp the two images and use those two dies to cut them out at the same time. So I only had to do one rule through the big shot. Um, this is the light paper in the background um, and I stamped the flower in the back to kind of create a nice kind of shadowed background image um, and then I did my teacup in a little bit of a bolder color than they did um, in their sample. I'm actually liking my sample more than the sample in the catalog. I know that's terrible to say, but um, uh, I, I like the fact that you can take a card out of the catalog and kind of make it your own. So um, uh, I think this this ended up um, making me very happy. Um, so yeah, like this, the, the vine right here kind of um, obscures a little bit of the doily, but it looks very nice. And I think they've kind of done that with, well, they did that with this sample here with the, um, the copper tin as well. So I think that's a really good look that you can use, um, you know, to stamp your greeting on the bigger, um, 
on the bigger doily type image and then um, bring some uh, elements around to decorate it up a little bit. So there is just one sample and I will be featuring um, this product all week on my blog and um, once I get um, all these this video loaded up on YouTube I will put a blog post out and I will have clickable blog clickable supply list on my blog um, and even if you're just watching this video off of Facebook live there is um, a clickable supply list on there as well um, if you want to look at the products in more detail they also have um, under the product in the store they they always include you know details like how many sheets of, of paper come with something you know how wide something is so it will have you'll be able to see more details once you get um, onto the blog so that is the um, tea room suite in a nutshell and um, I hope you like tea as much as I do. I'm a big tea drinker so this was of course on my radar right from the beginning. Um, so I think this will make a lot of really um, pretty cards. The greetings are just gorgeous. Like look at these. They're just really uh, nice fonts, nice um, curves to them. So um, they're, it's a very nice stamp set um, and the matching framelits to go with it. So let me just turn around for just a bit. So I didn't see any questions come by. I think the tea room um, suite is fairly um, straightforward. I don't think there's like too many hard things about it, but I know there's, you know, a couple of things like with the double framelits. Um, that is, is cool. It's not a mistake if you get them. Um, and um, just to see the paper and know that it's a little bit different um, than the paper that we've had in the past, that's really good to know. I kind of just was rushing through the process to get a big order together for the beginning of the catalog and I really didn't pay attention to that. So that's something that you probably want to know. You don't want to get surprised by that. So anyway, I'm excited to feature this product all week on my blog. So I hope you check back and um, see all the samples that I've made. Have a great week. Bye-bye.